So I was walking down the street the other day and I'm just minding my own business, you know, eating a plum. I love my plums and, you know, just having a great day. And then it's a toy. Confused. What's up? Confused army. Oh man. This has been a video that I've wanted to talk about for a little while. Fears. Things that keep you up at night. Things that keep you up at night. I think everybody in the world has rational fears. Like things, there are things out there that you should be concerned about. You should be afraid of, you know? And I think everybody has one or two of those things in their life where they're just like, yeah, I'm just going to avoid that forever. A lot of people don't like skydiving. A lot of people don't like heights. Some people are afraid of the dark. I don't like the dark. You know, it's there, there's just tons of things. And then there's things that are, are you know, you don't really even like, expect that this will be a fear of somebody. Like, I remember seeing on TV people that are, like, are afraid of, like, pickles and and peaches and balloons, you know? And I'm kind of like, hey, you're fun. You have fun. Birthday party at a farmer's market would literally be that person's just nightmare. Just the worst. So there, there are a couple fears in my life that I, I, I definitely have and that, you know, I'll, I'll bring to the table... Tell me if you agree with me, and we'll go from here. My first biggest fear is spiders. The weird thing about this is this is a fear that I developed as I got older. Like, when I was a kid, I remember getting jars and stuff and, you know, catching insects and looking at them and everything and then releasing them and not ever having any fear of insects in general. And then I just got to a point where I would see spiders and they would freak me out. Like, I hate spiders. Like, I am not one that, like, catches spiders and was like, oh, I'm going to release you to the wild. I'm one that calls my wife to come deal with it because I'm too much of a, a sissy pants to deal with them. Spiders have eight legs. That's insane. You can't run away from a spider. They can, they can run four times the speed you can run. There are types of spiders that can catch birds out of the air and eat birds. You know what human can catch a bird out of the air to eat it? None of us. None of us should be able to do that. But spiders can. Spiders are this big, but their bite can kill a horse. How is that natural? These things can't be natural. They have to be made in a lab by an evil genius somewhere that just wants to make people suffer. My next fear, I would say like my like number two fear other than spiders is small spaces like like oh like I, ugh, I can't even think about it like okay I remember seeing uh, a scary movie recently I can't really name the name because you know I'm on YouTube and everything but uh, this girl gets caught in this like house in the woods and she's trying to escape and she has to like crawl through this like tunnel under the house and like the mud and it's so, so compact that she can barely fit through. And there's a moment there where you don't think she's going to make it out of this, like, crawl. And that is the worst, worst feeling. Like, oh, like, it drops, like, any organs I have in my chest down to my stomach. Like, it's just, like, I, my chest is empty when I think about it. It's just hollow. Hollow. I remember watching videos of people like crawling through like underground caves and they have to like squeeze through rocks and stuff and they go like kilometers deep into these like crazy little caves and I'm like never never like you think it would have to be like my baby on the other end of that for me to crawl through and the entire time I'd be screaming like a girl. 
like screaming like a schoolgirl at a Justin Bieber concert. I would be screaming. No, I can't do that. It's awful. Like I'm cringing thinking about it. It's the worst. Blah. You guys have fears? Are you guys afraid of anything? Probably not. You're probably way more braver than I am. But if you have a phobia or a fear of anything, whatever, put it down below. I want to know. Uh, let's keep conversation going. Remember, be positive. Post positive. You know, keep people smiling. Keep people laughing. That's the job. That's your job as the confused army is be positive and make people laugh. Make yourself laugh because you deserve it. I'm going to try to do something a little different from now on. I'm going to try to pick someone individual from the confused army that comments and shares the videos and just supports the channel and I'm going to put them on blast and say thank you on our videos. So this week it's Jamie. Jamie has definitely commented before and I always love her comments and she's such a blast so thank you for being part of the confused army Jamie. I really appreciate it. Alright, thanks again for tuning in and uh, at least our dogs aren't werewolves.